Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore products and I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look. I wanted to start doing my fall series like two weeks ago, but I was like, girl, you need to relax. It's literally mid-August. Summer is like almost only halfway through. So um, I see a couple people have already started doing fall videos. So your girl is going to start too. And what better way to start the fall than a full face of drugstore products. So I'm going to go ahead and use all my favorite drugstore products today and yes you guys i'm super excited for fall fall and winter are like my favorite seasons because the weather starts getting a little cooler and your girl just hates the heat i know i'm a summer baby i was born in august but i hate summer like i really do like i don't hate it like i really love going to the beach and to the pool and like swimming and everything but I just can't with the heat I really can't so to start off this look I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first actually because all the drugstore eyeshadows I have I know they don't have any fallout I've had them for a while I've been using them I love them and I know they don't have any fallout so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face I'm going to be taking my elf hydrating primer which like I said in my last video, which if you haven't seen, I will list it down below. I did a tutorial using the Jackie Ina palette, so check that out as well. So I'm just going to rub that in between my fingers to warm it up a bit and apply that all over my face. And this is a silicone-based primer. It kind of feels like the Benefit Professional, but just like a little bit more watered down, if that makes sense. The Benefit Professional, I feel like, is thick whereas this one is a little more liquidy after we're done applying our primer i'm going to go ahead and take my foundation today i'm going to be using the maybelline superstay full coverage foundation this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations um it is a matte finish and i do have dry skin but i surprisingly really enjoy this foundation i know usually when you have dry skin you want to stay away from matte products just because we need all the glow and moisture we can get but we got a hydrating primer going on and I absolutely love this foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pumps of her and then I'm gonna apply it using my Morphe R6 the coverage on this is absolutely insane Do you see that? Then for my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer so, 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 so much. It's so thick and so creamy and it blends out so well. And it's only six dollars, so girl you need to snatch up the elf camo concealer i actually need to go buy more i've been using this one so much lately and i feel like i'm gonna run out and i can't live my life without my elf camo concealer and i'm actually gonna go ahead and put some whatever's left on the applicator i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lids and that's gonna be our base for our eyeshadow I'm going to blend that out with my Morphe E8. I have been obsessed with using brushes lately before I would do my entire face. Well, mine is bronzer and highlighter. I would still use a brush, but I would do my foundation and my concealer with the beauty blender. And I still love my beauty blender, but I don't know what it is. I've just been obsessed with blending things out with a brush now and I love how it looks before I used to hate brushes I was like oh I'm obsessed with my beauty blender nothing can tear me and my beauty blender apart but I don't know I don't know and then after we're done blending out our concealer I'm gonna go ahead and set that in place with my L'Oreal infallible pro sweep and lock translucent powder and I'm using my Morphe M438, and I'm just going to pick that up and 
place it right under my eyes. And I'm also going to set my lids very lightly with that. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. And from what I remember, I think this was a little too dark for me, but let's see. Oh no, that's perfect. Ooh, because I remember it being a little bit too dark, but that is perfect. I'm like so sweaty right now because it's so hot. I just turned my AC on as I sat down to film this. Girl, it is so hot today. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm using my Morphe Y7 brush. And whatever's kind of left on my brush, I'm just gonna go over those areas where we highlighted and place the translucent powder. Moving on to the brows, I don't have an excuse, I know it's so gross, I need to clean it because when I usually scoop it out, I just like put it on my cap and your girl hasn't cleaned it. So yeah, <laughs> I don't have anything from the drugstore and I actually saw, I forgot whose video I was watching that they did have um, a pomade kind of thing at the drugstore and I believe it was by Maybelline so I'm gonna have to go pick that up but as for now I don't have anything from the drugstore so I'm just gonna reach for my Morphe one So now that I'm done with my brows, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my bronzer. And of course, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. You guys know this is my favorite bronzer of all time from the drugstore. It is so pigmented and it doesn't look orange and it blends out really nice. And it just gives you like this nice bronze luminous kind of glow. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks and my forehead. And then I always forget to bronze my nose. And I want to bronze up my nose too. Just because she looks a little fat. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with a small blending brush and the same bronzer. And I'm just gonna go and draw kind of like a line going down my nose and you want to use a really soft hand when contouring your nose with powder because it can get really messy really fast and I have learned that the hard way And then for my highlighter, I'm going in with my Milani Stellar Lights Woo! Highlighting Palette. I almost dropped that, and if this little baby broke, I would not be happy. <laughs> and of course, I'm taking my Morphe M510, and I'm only going to be taking the first shade today. Usually, I mix these two, but I'm feeling just the white today, and this is really pigmented. This is one of the best drugstore highlighters I have ever ever used and I'm going in with a really soft hand again because it can get really easy to get carried away with this a little goes a, such a long way and that was me like barely brushing on my cheek do you guys look at that glow
And then I'm just gonna kind of brush it on my lid as well. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to apply it to my lip. Maybe take a little more. <laughs> and then on my nose. For today, I want to go in with some blush. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. And this is one of the scented blushes. I actually... I don't know if this was limited edition. I think it was limited edition. I'm not sure, but there's blush shades like this all the time. And which one was this? What is the shade? It's in the shade Charming. And I'm going to be taking a big duo fiber brush. This is my Sigma F50. And I'm just going to swirl a little bit and start from the back. And in patting motions, work my way forward. And you always want to start from the back and work your way forward just because where you hit your brush the first time is where it has the most pigment. So you want the most color to be back here and not here. And we're just going to pat, pat, pat going forward. And this blush is really pigmented. Now we're all blushed up and I'm kind of, I'm just gonna go one, two, and tap, tap, tap. And then whatever's left, I'm just gonna kind of go over my nose a little bit just because I love that look. Just, there we go, just a little bit. I love that look for the fall and winter, like when you have a red nose or like it just put a little bit of blush on your nose. I love that touch. Okay, so moving on to the eyes i have a quite a few palettes here from the drugstore i have my milani most loved mattes i have my lemonade craze Oops. um which this is like totally a summer palette but i don't know i feel like these two shades are totally fall shades and then i have my nyx off tropic palettes um which these little babies are kind of really expensive actually but I mean they are from the drugstore so I think I'm gonna go with because I know what look I want to do like I have a look in mind like I want to go for those plummy kind of purpley shades so the first palette I'm gonna go in with is my Milani most loved mattes and I'm going to use this color right here as my transition. And, oh, they do have names. Oh, I never knew that. I'm guessing this is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, I don't know. But, um, I'm guessing that's Toast of the Town. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's just this one right here. <laughs> and I'm going to pack it on my outer corner first and then in circular motions we're just kind of going to blend upwards and into our transition slash crease area every time I do a tutorial using only drugstore products I always look at my makeup and I'm like wow I did this with all drugstore products yeah girl <laughs> I don't know why cuz I love drugstore products but I don't know I don't really ever do a full face of drugstore products unless it's for a video just because I mean I don't know I have so much makeup and it's like I don't really reach towards my drugstores as much as I should because I don't want the expensive ones to go to waste you know because I paid so much money for them <laughs> and then from the same palette I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this purple color right here and I'm just gonna use the same brush and then tap off the excess 
and then again actually i'm gonna tap that off one more time just because of these shadows are so insanely pigmented and i don't want to go in with too much because we can always add on but we can't take away and then i'm just kind of gonna pack that in my outer corner very gently <laughs> Just like that. I'm kind of creating like a little V-shape. You want to come in about mid-lid right here. And then kind of like we're creating a 90 degree angle on our eye. And then you want to just kind of go up to your crease. But don't take it too high up so it doesn't mess with the transition shade. And then kind of just like, you know. <laughs> Create your little angle, girl. And then we're just gonna pack and blend. And then we're gonna start blending it into the crease. And right here, my brush is barely touching my skin. And I'm going in circular motions and slowly blending it into our crease. And again with a really light hand you guys see how like almost barely any color is moving in that's how we want it you see how soft that looks and then we are gonna go in with another shade later and deepen it up a little but as for now we just want a really soft look Moving on, I'm going to be taking my NYX Off Tropic Palette. This is the Hasta La Vista Palette. And I'm going to be taking this really deep dark purple right here. And again, I'm just going in with the same blending brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of that shade. And we're going to pack it starting in the outer corner. And going in circular motions into the crease. And this is what's going to give the look that plummy kind of shade. And then we're going right over that previous shade we used from the Milani palette. And we're just kind of going to blend the two colors together. So after we're done blending out the purple, I'm going to go in with my NYX Smoky palette and I'm going to be taking the black shade in there and I'm just taking my Morphe M514, which is a really tiny blending brush and I'm going to pick up some product and I'm barely going to be tapping in the outer corner because we don't want the look to turn completely black and just lightly patting and blending it inwards and I actually think I'm gonna stop right there just like that because we don't want too much product okay and then for my lid I'm not going to be cleaning it up with concealer I'm just going to be taking my lemonade craze palette from Maybelline and I'm taking that shade strawberry shortcake and just a flat shader brush this is my morphe m153 and I'm just gonna go in with that and I'm not gonna tap off any excess and I'm just gonna look back just because I think this shade had a little bit of fallout and I'm just going to be patting that in right on my lid because I want this eyeshadow look to be really soft I don't want it and you can see how pigmented that is we didn't even need to go in and clean up anything and like I was saying I want it to be kind of like a soft look I don't want there to be like a harsh kind of cut crease and ooh, ooh, ooh.
again tilt your head back so you don't get any fallout I feel like those Instagram videos you know when you see it when they have the person laying down like this and then they're just like patting on their eyeshadow for my mascara today I'm going in with my Milani highly rated mascara and I'm just gonna apply one coat of that to my lashes because I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some falsies and you guys I really love this mascara in my last video or actually I don't know which video it was <laughs> but in one of my videos I was saying how it's really comparable to the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and it really is it doesn't clump up your lashes together and it just makes them so black and thick and it makes them look really long and it's just amazing so as our mascara dries I'm gonna go in with my lips I'm taking this lip pencil by NYX it's in the shade prune and I'm just gonna line my lips with it and fill it in a little bit And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Macaroon Liquid Lipstick in Black Current Crush. Oh my gosh, they still smell so yummy. Oh my gosh, that just smells so good right now. Oh my gosh, I want like a pastry now. It smells like pure sugar. Okay, and then I think I kind of want to be a little extra and I'm going back in with my Milani highlighting palette I'm gonna use that same white shade Woo! that same white shade we used to highlight and I'm gonna go over my lid um, I'm just gonna use the same shader brush we used and I'm gonna go in with that white shade Woo! tap that baby off I'm gonna place that right in the center I'm gonna go in with one more layer yes there we go oh that just looks so much better I'm, I'm trying to like tilt my head back because <laughs> it has a little bit of fallout and I worked way too hard on this look to get some fallout yes girl oh yes this is like this is a whole vibe right now with the highlighter in the center this is like a whole another vibe okay did we get any fallout oh no we're good okay and then so for my lashes um I do have some Ardell lashes but I don't know where they are I'm gonna go look in my lash box you guys, is it my lash box from Flutter Lashes? The cutest thing ever. I know I have like some earrings in here, but oh my gosh, I love this lash box so much. It's just, I'm so, so cute. So cute. And then I believe, yes, I know these were the lashes I had from Ardell. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those because we can't apply our Mitchell lashes today because them babies are not drugstore so I don't remember the number of these right off the bat but I will figure out the style of these and I will list it somewhere at the bottom
how funny you guys I totally forgot about my lower lash line and now I'm kind of debating if I should do a lower lash line eyeshadow or not because I kind of really like how it looks but at the same time I kind of want to put eyeshadow here we'll just go back into the Milani palette and I'm going to take my MAC 212 definer brush and it does kind of have a little bit of black left over on it from yesterday but I'm not going to clean that off I'm just going to go in with um the purple we used in our crease and with the black on it from yesterday and I'm just tap off some excess and then I'm just gonna stamp it really close to my lash line And I'm going to go back in with my NYX Smoky Palette and I'm going to take the black. Oh my goodness, where did I throw my definer brush? This is like a bad habit. I need to stop. Like, I'll think I'm done with a brush, so I'll just throw it on my table. And my table is like a mess right now. And then I literally don't know what I did with my definer brush. Okay, found her. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the black again just because... Um, I want it a little more smoky. Okay. And I'm not going as far down as I did with the purple from the Milani palette. We're kind of just going to stamp it and stop. As Whereas with the other one, we kind of stamped it and wiggled it down a little bit. This one, we're just going to stamp and stop. And I'm just going to go in with my same Milani mascara for my lower lashes. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. And I'm just going to spray that all over my face, but I'm going to cover my eyes because I don't want any mascara dripping down. we good oh girl we good so yeah you guys that completes today's video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel i upload videos every single week and this was just the first of many fall tutorials outfit of the days i'm so excited for sweater wetter sweater weather i have like the most difficult time saying sweater weather like really fast it's like a tongue twister for me i can't say it sweater weather sweater weather sweater weather blah, 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 blah. anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys